give a lot of the credit to not just myself, but my team as well. We, sure. um, we're, we're um, Diamante Zarber, Chris Calabrese. They're uh, two individuals who are, um, who are highly co connected, have a large network. And uh, through that, we are able to uh, produce relationships with owners of, of high, uh, high luxury assets. Um, this item we actually happen to own, but again, we have a connection to a lot of other different items, artwork, uh, luxury timepieces, um, uh, diamonds, jewelry, um, a lot of different types of type of luxury assets. And that's what our company is really trying to focus on. We understand just as we've spoken about forgery, counterfeiting, those being um, a loss of a, over a trillion dollars within those markets. And I, I really don't think people understand how detrimental that is to building out this new generation of interacting of the metaverse, the, the internet 3.0. We want to build trust. We want to build that bridge. We want to be able to bring together these different, these different communities so that we can create organic, safe systems for them to trade these assets. You know, um, as Ashok spoke and said that um, it's, it's not just uh, luxury assets, but it can be used as far as supply chain. It can be used um, um, to to identify where different things are um, in the in the in within the logistics project. And so, what our company wanted to focus on on this on on these products because things like this, large scale items in this space, can can really jump forward and build that trust in a quick way. Um, you know, with again with your technology being as advanced as it is. We were so excited to be able to partner with, with, with WiseKey in order to bring that trust and that provenance to the system. You know, it's interesting you spoke about all the different avenues and all the different um, 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 checks and markers that we had to do in order to do this, not just on the IP as far as making sure you're not infringing on another artist's uh, rights, make sure you're not infringing on the likeness of another individual, to, to again, providing the documentation of the fact that this item is what it is. Um, um, you guys were very, very descript and, and, and very thorough as to providing dates, appraisal values, uh, watch materials, the specs. And so all that um, throughout this process was very, very enlightening and now has again created for us a business model that could be scaled over time in order to bring, as you said, these items to the market. Um, whether it be luxury timepieces, um, uh, art, um, uh, rare, rare artwork, um, uh, gold, diamonds. Um, and again, the, the, the applications are limitless because NFTs are limitless. You know, well, a lot of times what happens is um, when you read about NFTs, you read about JPEGs and you read about a lot of these newer projects that come out that are, are you know, they have utility, they have a, a use case and, and they're extremely uh, valuable to building out this, this marketplace. But then again, in order to really pave the way and really bring this, as you said, on board, not just a handful of, of, of investors or co collectors, but a whole industry to bring in whole nations, to bring in whole archetypes onto the metaverse, it takes projects like this. It takes a, a company like WiseKey to partner with a company like GDC to put together and facilitate the auction of a Hublot watch and an item and bring it to the marketplace in a trusted method through your KYC, through the WiseArt platform and through all the diligent efforts on everybody's party to authenticate the item and make sure that it is what it is. You know, I thought that your example of, again, just having the watch with you and nobody carries uh, the documentation to prove that the things that they have are what they are, but everybody has a smartphone. Everybody has access to these decentralized apps. It's, it's, it's as simple as you taking your phone, scanning it with their NFC technology, and then bringing up that information. So not only do you have the, the, the information as far as what the watch is, the fact that it's a one of three, the fact that it's rose gold, it's 18 carats, the number of diamonds in it, the, the sapphire background, the encasing, uh, the sneaker itself, the size of the sneaker, all those different things play into bringing that proof of what you have is what it is and allowing that to be portable and allowing that to be the authentication 
of the item. And that goes across the board with every item because as you and I and everybody who's who's forward thinking enough to be in on this panel knows that that's where we're going and that's where the, this market and the internet is, is shifting towards.